Sir? Sir? Is he fucking smoking hash again? Come on, fuck. Fuck's sake. Black Knight X ray, this is Husky 2. We're one minute from bringing the boys in and delivered with love. Roger that. Husky 2, this is X ray. Thanks for making our troop hole. Man, what were you, man? I won't ask if you won't tell. Oh, shit. Picking up tricks from the locals, I see, huh? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, bud. God, you smell here. like a bag of dicks. Well, I thought that was the musky light. <laughs> hey, not that one, Cherry. That's Liebert. Find a different bunk. Who's Liebert? What the fuck, man? Hey, show some respect, goddammit. Who's Liebert? Fuck you is who he is. Put that down. Go grab your bunk right there. Grab your goddamn hey, nice to meet you There's no too, way Sergeant. I'm going underneath you unless it's fucking made out of titanium. You understand? Hey, you care to move the castle diagonal? I'm your superior. I can move it however the fuck I like. That's what I'm saying. I don't think I stand a chance. At least we have a garden. In real Garden of Eden. Gotta be shit, yep. man. Look at this place. Yeah, Talbot have a nice fucking view of us, don't they? Fuck me, man. Fucking retarded, I know. They usually come up that draw on the backside, take a few fucking shots, and then just, like, get the hell out. Aren't we supposed to be on top of the mountain to win this thing? Don't be logical, Scusa. Yeah, let's get moving. This is a joke, right? Not funny, ha ha. It's more like a black comedy. Shit, I love getting fucked in this shit bowl. Man, we're not fucked. Maybe this place is like an opportunity, you know? Yeah, how do we protect this piece of shit? Better question would be why. I mean, boys, like they say, freedom ain't free. Sit in the fucking Fuck up, right? Good morning. Get it, Mark. Oh, hello, shit. Hello, brother. Hello, hello. Yeah. Yeah, it must be the hunkies. <laughs> I heard someone talking about freedom. Speaking of a black comedy, <laughs> already at it, huh? Oh, yeah. Working on a beast, this big motherfucker right here. How'd it get out here? Some colonel in Jalalabad had something to prove. Brought this big motherfucker over here through these shitty-ass roads. Yeah, risk life and limb, but just not his own. Fucking yeah. officers. Heard that story before. Yeah, it's a tally's favorite target. They take at least one shot at it every day. Hey, Kuni. Musaga Mokambigi. Hey! What's the shit? Leave that dog alone! What's no, that's what the fuck you doing? What is there? Hey, that's a okay. Okay. It's okay. What the fuck was that? The dog. It has uh, fleas. Yeah, we all have fucking fleas. It doesn't mean you gotta fucking kill it. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, 
RPGs from the Olive Garden and fuckload of rifle fire. Damn. Bundy won again, huh? Let's fuck it out, bro! What? Oh, he broke hey, my starter belt! Hey, we need more 240! Give me that 240, Max! This is our last two. We need more ammo, over! Let's show him some love with the 120s. Willie Pete. <laughs> Where's my 240? The fuck you mean? Where the fuck is my 240 ammo, man? It makes an hour ass too. It doesn't fit you got a bullshit. Ammo, I you? said 240. Don't get my fucking ammo, man. Why, why did Stop you party. say? Don't talk to me. Stop the right ammo. Go. Go. Fucking call me. Do your fucking job. Morris, this is X ray. CO wants you to put some 120s in the Olive Garden. I'll say again 120s in the Olive Garden. Over. Talk's in. We got Olive Garden. Let's fucking go again. Let's Dang it. Fuckers We got him. Woo! Good job, fellas. Woo! Oh, he go. Hey, baby. Well, that really blew some minds. <laughs> Damn. That's cold, bro. Too yeah. soon. Puerto yeah. Rico yeah. saves the day again. Yeah. Good, too. <laughs> End of mission. Rain, Target baby. destroyed. Thank you for your service, D-Rod and Thompson. Thank you, oh, man. That was the shit, man. I got it all. You wait till you see this Younger, footage, boys. Good luck. Oh, oh, God damn. Oh, damn. Oh, welcome home, Jerry. Listen to me, Younger. Fuck. You ever fucking fire a weapon at me that close again, and I'll fucking kill you myself. Gallegos. You fucking understand me? Gallegos. Fuck you, Younger. You okay, Younger? I'm fine. You good, man? God damn, Jerry shoots hey. over my fucking head. Younger. All right, guys. God. What? He could have fucking Yo, killed you. me. Get up. Get up. What are you, his mother Get now, up. bro? Well, the lessons are. Get that fucker in the dirt. You're doing good, kid. I'm cool, Sergeant. I'm cool. You're cool, younger. Ah, uh, check it out, fine. Mace. Here comes my fucking 240 ammo. Typical party. What a fucking day. Is that it? Is that all? You can't argue and fight at the same time. What? You can't argue and fight at the same time. Don't do it again. It's not gonna work that way. Get back here. Go to parade rest. Repeat after me. I will not argue and fight at the same time. I will not argue and fight at the same time. Sound off this time. I will not argue. Sound off. I will, I will not argue. Let's not ruin a beautiful morning, gentlemen. And fight. Thank you for your service, son. Thank you for your service. At the Maybe same you time. Fuck! Fucking move! We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Jacobs, come on. Stay with us, pal. Look good, man. Doc, what do you need? Just keep everyone back. Hey, Jacobs, you're gonna be all right. I'm gonna need a fucking letter! I lost two of my brothers back home. Fucking gangbanging. I don't just fucking like that. I told you this place is a shithole. Yeah. Oh, it's ours now. I'm coming, I'm coming! Fuck. Jesus, what the fuck happened? Hey, motherfuckers. Hey, what do you need? Hey, take this, hey. Saw you, Larson. My bad. Jacob's got out of surgery okay. They even say he's gonna fucking come back here. Oh, shit, man. The guy lost half his fucking face. Yeah. That's fucking unbelievable. There's no way I thought he'd be back out here after that shit. Jacobs is a squared away dude, man. Squared away ain't got nothing to do with the ant balls. You're a cherry, you're a private, you don't know. Fenty was squared away, Fritchie was squared away. Snell? Who's yeah. Snell? Snell was one of the best soldiers we knew. And just like that, he was shot in the face in Iraq, out of nowhere. Yeah. Doesn't matter what kind of soldier you are. Good, bad. As far as I'm concerned. We all stay alive out here. We win. You guys got any extra charges for the shitters? By the whack shack, man, there's an ammo can full of them. Take them all. Jesus, call the prayer. Five times a fucking day, man. Bro, you in or you out? I'll play for him. I'll take two. Sit here, let's bring his cards. Smoking hash in the answer. There's only 54 of us, that's it. We all count on each other. You being high out there endangers all of us. 
not gonna happen again, sir. Not the only one who came here with substance abuse issues. But you're the only one who persists. I should kick you out of here. I don't have a substance abuse issue. Yes, you do. You do? Mm -hmm. I'm busting you down a private and you're burning shit till I tell you to stop. One more chance, okay? You're dismissed. Thank you, sir. Even, sir. Maybe you should forfeit some pay. Pay don't mean anything to these guys out here. You take away their free time, it's like being in prison. Okay, guys. Hey, hey, listen up. Hello? Is this thing working? Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Well, the army made it. Nope. <laughs> Is everybody? Yes, sir. Okay. Look, we're making great progress here in Camdash. But we still got a lot of work to do. Our outpost, still a target of insurgents. In case you hadn't noticed. Mm, right. <laughs> So how do we do our jobs and stay safe? We need to keep a good relationship with the locals. Hmm? Respect keeps us safe. So we'll call for another Shura. The lead elders in the valley will attend. They will bring some of the younger men with them. Probably some of those assholes have been shooting at us. <laughs> I will continue to speak softly in the valley, offering more projects and handshakes. And on the other hand, I will carry all of you like a big fucking stick. Fuck yeah, yeah. sir. Yeah. Sir, I'm the only afraid way you this don't thing have a big works. enough stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right. With your shield or on it. On our shield, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Let's go, go sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Follow my calm. Follow my calm. Jesus. Come on, it's his shot. Come on, it's his shot. Come on, it's Carter, Griffin. Sir. Kurt. You boys are joining me. Some of those dudes are armed. I noticed. So there is a price in your head. That's why you're joining me. Keep your alien invader costumes on. Fuck a cigarette. Sorry, Dad. He says you have been here for 40 years. No, no. No, no. That was the Russians. We're American. American. They really not understand this, and they're just fucking with me. They have a limited knowledge, sir. Sir, it's 5.56. Five, it's one of our bullets. Our job is to separate the Taliban the ordinary people. We do that, the ordinary people won't get caught in the crossfire. I can give you money, contracts, projects, if you help me. Do you know what this means? That's a already. This man fired his rifle yesterday. We were attacked yesterday. I must report the attack on my outpost. I will lose honor. My elders. I can regain my honor in two ways. One way is for all of you to lay down your arms. And watch as your communities flourish with the help of the United States 
and Allah. او بیا وګورئ چې تاسو ټولنه د د خدای او د امریکا په زور څومره ترقي کوي. And what is the other way? Why get into such ugliness? And of course, the United States will compensate anyone lays down their arms. Sir, these dudes shot at us yesterday. You want to let them go? Yes, I do. Buddy, what's the matter, Kai? Manana. 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 You are a good guest. We will call you a mat. Highly praised one. <laughs> No, no, no. Love you. Love you. Come on, would you stop talking? Love you. Love you. Love you. If you don't say it like you mean it, you'll be there all night. I love you. Louder. I love you. Holy shit, man. What the fuck? Fuck. Doing this gives you fucking cancer. Cancer? You fucking serious? Which, who knows what these assholes are shitting now? Can you stop while I've got my fucking face in it? Shit detail is the Agent Orange of today. Just stop talking, man. Doing this should be against UCMJ. Oh, this shit gives you cancer. Fucking kills you. <laughs> 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 What's so funny, Carter? Hey, this ain't no fucking laughing matter, man. Did you think it's cancer? It's going to kill you. Yeah, he fucking got you there, man. Good of you to make it, Carter. <sighs> What's that? Late as always. I was picking up charges from Mortaritaville, asshole. Well. Fucking done here, man. <laughs> I've seen the pictures, bro. She's a classy lady. They've been making the rounds. Classy's. Love you. What the fuck? They're good, man. Love Shit. You. Look, Love fuck you. it anyway. I'm remarrying the woman I divorced. And she's pregnant by some other fucking dude. Yeah, well, have fun with that, buddy. I'm gonna raise the kid like they're my own. Great idea. Huh. Never really took you for the same type there, Gallegos. Love is love, Hart. <laughs> love is fucking love. Right here. There he is. Coming light tonight. Oh. Thanks. Mala. These are not camel lights. Hey! Taliban! Motherfuckers! Not so tough with that night vision, huh? Yes, yeah, Sergeant. You're trying to wake up all the fucking nurse stand here. Sorry, Love Sergeant. You. Smell like dog shit, Love Mace. You. Thank you, Sergeant. Love you. I love you. I love you. Love is in the air. That's <laughs> good. Oh. oh shit. God <laughs> damn, Mace. Picture you more of like a name tag kind of guy. Like a waitress. That was a Home Depot salesman. Love you. Is that before or after you got kicked out of the Marines? Here you go, buddy. Oh, thanks. I didn't get kicked out of the Marines, Sergeant. I got demoted for fighting. I had a little bit of a temper problem back then, so I got out. So you took your Marine skills to Home Depot? No. When I was a cook at Daniels, I was a lumberjack projectionist at my local theater. And then I was a sales associate at Home Depot, but only at Christmas time, Sergeant. After that, I cleaned, helped take care of the elderly. Worked on cars for a little while as a mechanic. Not certified, but still a fucking mechanic. And I was a barnacle sweeper for a small period of time. Barnacle After that, I was lugging around hot tubs, different houses, but we called them hot tub transporters. And then the army took me. I love you. You're in this guy? 
I'm gonna have to stand next to him in the middle of a firefight. Excuse me, Sergeant? You heard me, Carter. Okay, okay, we're gonna settle this mini meet Gary Coleman argument once and for all. And, uh, no temper problem now. Carter? Oh, oh, I love you. you. Make oh, all right. All right. Touch glove. Make love. Come on, boys. <laughs> you boys are real calm until you get some shrapnel stuck How much in longer is it going to be? Hey, okay. excuse her. Okay. Two minutes, man. Hugs and kisses of the missus. Come on. No, no, no. They, they love hey, it. Hey, excuse her. Yo, I want to see one of your wife in costume, That's man. That's fucking broke, man. <laughs> hey, you know what? You know what I'm saying? Oh, Jesus! Fuck! Hey! Get the fucking gun! Is he younger? It's better be a fucking joke. Yeah. Give me that fucking oh. photo, you, oh, you dirty son of a Get out here! You dirty bastard. Yeah, he took off to my Take fucking wife. Get no the fuck out of here. here. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. Get okay, the fuck so pretty. down. Oh. Younger. You were beating your dick to his wife. Just say you're fucking sorry. Start pushing. I'm sorry, Olivia. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Huh? Soul, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Mrs. Hart. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Hart. Are you fucking Ow. kidding me? Loud and clear. Loud and fucking clear. What's up, sir? Boss wants us to move that damn LMTV back to Naray. Seriously? Why? I guess they need it. Oh, it's bullshit. Yeah. Sir, that thing is way too big to navigate these shit-ass roads. Well, it got hit somehow. Everybody who brought that monster over here was almost killed. Mm -hmm. The roads are too small. It's more dangerous than the goddamn Taliban, especially after the rain, sir. You know, I'm close with the CSM over there. I could reach out. Mm. Guys, Brass gave us a mission. We're gonna deliver like we always do. All right. Well, who are we gonna get to drive it? Sir, are you sure you wouldn't rather have one of the enlisted men behind the wheel? You can't always have all the fun, Bundy. <sighs> You're in command now. Please, try not to invade Pakistan or something. Do my best, sir. Please be careful, sir. Captain Keaton, sir. We're here, Red 5 Delta. Go ahead. You want to make a little room, sir? This is Red 5 Delta. Sir, I just had a thought. Shouldn't Gallegos be driving the truck? I mean, that's how he got his whole family across the border. Over. Oh, oh boy, here it comes, mate. Bitch. A good fuck you for that white boy. But your freaky ass might fall in love. Take them all night. This will travel 13 fucking miles, man. Fucked up, sir. Yes, it is, Kirk. Yes, it is fucked up. Captain, the bees eat through the sugar in just a few days. It's a time release barrier, so the bees get used to the queen's pheromones and don't kill her. I wouldn't touch anybody else's fucking honey except my own. <laughs> Here I thought we'd run out of things to talk about. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, I got it, Sergeant. I trust you, sir. Just hug these walls. That's a good idea, sir. Maybe it is time for you to call home, bro. <laughs> no, no, I call home, and then all I end up doing is lying. What's the point in that? How about you, sir? You call home? My parents, fiance, here all the time. How about you, Carter? Oh, nobody wants to hear from me, sir. Oh, I doubt that's true. <laughs> you don't know my ex-wife. <laughs> Look, I'm proud to be here. I get it. I see it. We're gonna win by getting their hearts and minds. Yeah, we want the hearts and minds, and they want our blood and guts, right? Red 2, this is X-Ray. We got a Reaper on station in your vicinity, picking up an unknown hotspot 200 meters ahead. Advise, proceed with caution. We'll go check it out, sir. What is that? 
Look. It's a chicken. A chicken. Just a dead chicken. Come on through. You know, Sergeant, I used to be a Mormon, too. I was raised as one, anyways. Not sure it's gonna make us friends, Carter. I don't need friends, Sergeant. At least not these guys. I got news for you. These guys are probably the best you're ever gonna do. Yeah, I don't, uh... I don't know about that. All this frat boy shit and the joking around. Got their fucking dicks in their hands. This is not the place for it, Sergeant. Marines would never go for what happens around here, you know that. Yeah, yeah, I remember. You're a Marine, yeah. Guys, I what's the holdup, huh? Come on through. Come on, man. I need to delete. Look, I'm sick of your way. shit, okay? You want to know why no one likes you? It's because you're always the odd man out. You're always on the fucking sidelines. Even if it is frat boy shit. Larson's right. Nobody knows if they can trust you. Come on. Move. Watch it, ladies. Shit. Hunt! Carter! What's wrong with you? Okay. Fuck. No one said that. I don't care. Fuck! We need ropes and a litter ace up. Rope stick plastic. We need immediate men back. Six is down. Fucking helm TV came off a cliff. Fuck. That's a good copy. Ratings are all about now. Birds are about 40 mics out. Then there's an online line. Over. God, please watch over him and bring him passage into the next life. Amen. All right, guys, back to work. Your allegiance to your pussy. Time's almost up, Grip. Oh. Specialist? Is that how Mama taught you to wear panties? Griffin, this is your new commander, Captain <laughs> Yeskus. How you doing, sir? <laughs> sir, those uh, were Maria Kurilenko's tennis stars. She sent them as a gift, if you can believe that. Is that right? Ah, well, who needs Toby Keith when you can fucking sniff those? Yeah, we're a little short on recreation around here. Chris Cordova. Uh, Rob Yaskus, nice to and meet you. And this is Doc Corville. Ah, oh, good to meet you, sir. Griffin, come with his bags. Uh, yes, sir. Thanks. Do I ever think we're enemies with the Russians? Guess the guys come in here a lot for these, huh? That and the working internet, sometimes. What do you guys deal with here mostly? Ah, uh, it's mostly aid to the locals. Gunshot wounds and the assholes are firing at us. You guys got a mask out plan? Not fucking good. Got this room for two. Cafe outside for two. Can't refrigerate blood. Once you drop the nine line, it's almost two hours before we get any helos in here for medivacs. All right, what can I do? I can close this damn place down. Well, amen to that. Over here are A and A troops. And in the back is our mortar pit. Sir? Oh, Lockies. He's our NA trainer. Nice to, nice to meet you. I'm your uh, coalition force from Latvia, sir. Okay. How are the ANA soldiers? Some of them are okay. When I can get them off of their asses. The six countries don't have the best reputation, sir. Hey. It's your chance to put your leadership on display. Brace to suck. 
Where is the second? Like I was saying, our mortar pit. Those guys, Thompson, Rodriguez, breeding, they really save our asses, sir. That's so? Yeah. yeah. That's all. Numbers and angles. The mortars are the only thing that reached that ridge line. Without them, we're fucked. Hey, brother Rowe. Oh, perfect. Kirk. Yeah. He's one of our best team leaders, sir. Me, Captain Yeskis. Nice to meet you. Sir, wish we didn't have to meet you. I'll try to live up to all that. Good to have you, sir. You have a fucking sponge. Get my back. <laughs> yeah, fuck yourself. Over here is our mosque. You think the new boss is gonna make us do a fucking patrol every time they take a pot shot at us? Never trying to understand an officer, Mace. A different breed. They even fuck with the lights on. God damn it, quit your bitching, man. This ain't so bad. Walk with nature, walk with God, right, boys? If God was real, then these guys wouldn't be trying to kill us every goddamn day, and Keaton would still be around here. God works in mysterious ways, Sergeant. Yeah, so I guess uh, God's plan is our chaos, then, huh? Jesus fucking Christ, man. What you looking at, Sergeant? Seeing what they see. What's that, bro? Dead Americans? God damn, you're a fucking buzzkill, man. I know. Well, every time they take a pot shot at us, they're figuring us out. When the big one comes, they'll have us dialed in. And how would you do it if you were them? What? How would you do it if you were them? How would I do it? Well, first, I'd knock out our mortar pit. Without that, we're fucked. Then I start hammering our Stand 2 trucks, armored Humvees, especially Alraz 2. That protects our mortars. Take out our ammo depot so we can't resupply. And I'd hit our generator. Effectively kill our comms. And then I'd start sending fighters on the switchbacks. It'd be a race to get inside the wire before our support. Yeah, but even that's gonna take a few hours. The V1s come all the way from fucking Qatar. Yeah, that's right, Carter. Yeah. Hey, get inside our camp, take our ECP, divide us in half. Pretty much then we're fucked. <laughs> God damn it, bro. What the fuck pissed in your Cheerios? <laughs> well, sorry, pal, but that's life at Camp Keating. You thought I would stop him, Sarge? We don't. There you go. I'm good. good. Hey, guys, you think we're fucking having the Captain Keaton made it back to the news in the States? The only news people give a shit about back in the States is who's fucking Paris Hilton. Who the fuck <laughs> has it? <laughs> I saw her picture getting out of the car. <laughs> God damn it, even the fucking Hajis have seen a snatch. Yeah, one night in Paris, Taliban best friend. Uh, oh, there you go. God damn it. It's a good day when God made my ass, right, oh, sir? Sergeant. You know what? Somebody's got to be fit around here for one to go hand-in-hand -hand with these fucks. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like you go mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, this war would be over. Ha! Ah. I'll fuck you till you love me, boy. Right. You just keep working on those man tits, guy, you guys. They're intimidated by you. Somebody's got to win this fucking war, man. <sighs> okay. Let's go. Let me spot you, boy. Hey, let's Ro. go. Let's go. Hey, Ro. Hey, What's going on? Hey, how's it going, man? How you doing? Come here! Come here! Come here. Fuck! Fuck! Warning shot! Fuck! Come here! Oh, fuck Jesus Christ! Watch Come where here. you're going, you hadji fuck! I'm gonna fuck her. I should fucking wax you. What the fuck is this? What's going on, Sergeant? What's this? What's this? Huh? What's what is this? 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 Taking photos of our kings, sir. What is it? Fucking kill me. Huh? Fuck is taking photos. He does geography. He's showing the enemy huh? what we see from here. It's all about him to show me, T. Huh? What is this? Cheers. What is this? Is Good this a gift? To is this a gift from the Taliban? So? Don't you want one? <laughs> you look at all my scars? 
Yeah, you'd be fucked up too if you had a kid beating dad like my old man. And he was a fucking cop. Americans can have fucked up lives too. Drunk a whole bottle of carpet cleaner once. Go puke that up. Couldn't go through with it. I do have a great mom. Well, so should probably call her. But... Did you ever, did you ever see your mom? Uh, because of the. I'm gonna sign up for Jeopardy, Thompson. Shit, me, uh, Sergeant. It's <clears throat> called a fucking burka. A burka. Um, what did he do? Told us the elders from Camel paid him to take photos of our camp. Probably for the fucking tally bombs. We'll call another sheriff, find out what the fuck happened. It is important that we find out which elders in Camus paid Nasser. Good boy, good boy. Not bad, boy. Good boy, good 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 boy. boy. What he was doing was a red flag for us. Red flag? Communist flag. A warning sign. Oh. It is important that we investigate. Your son will not be hurt. If he is innocent, he will be back in two or three days. Oh, you know what that means? Oh, you know what that means? He says, you broke Commander Keating's promise. You haven't paid him, and now you steal their children, too. This money is for building the school. For bringing power and water to... Sir, please. Or sir. Or mule. But now I have to hold on to this. And so you help me. It is an honor to be among such courageous men. Men who love peace. Men who want the peace to spread. And the projects will spread. If we all work together. Inshallah. 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 Half the Afghan man from the last show are gone. Yeah. The fighting age ones. Griffin. Come here. Sir. Got a good handle on this shit, right? I mean, Cherokee or something. I don't know. You're a tribe, they're a tribe. It's uh, Chippewa, sir. But uh, you know, I didn't grow up smoking a peace pipe around the fire with my father and the tribe welders. <laughs> but uh, you know, I know not to piss them off. I know that we get shot at a lot less when the villagers are happy. That way we can focus on the mission. You know what our mission is? Not really, sir. Well, we can't accomplish our mission if we can't survive. The elders will come around. They need us as much as we need them. Yes, sir. Hey, Larson, you're SOG, right? Yeah, what's up, sir? Mohammed, come here. Tell him exactly what you told me. Salam alaikum, sir. Salam, bro. I've just been to the village, sir. Masoos are telling me the Taliban's are coming on us. Okay. The villagers are not happy, sir. They are complaining about their money, the school, the road. The previous show, I didn't go well, sir. Everything. And I really believe, sir, this time, my are telling me that the Taliban are coming on us. How many are going to come on us? A lot, sir. I don't know, a lot. <laughs> you think, like, um, in a row or at the same time, or...? Sir, are you laughing at me? No, I'm not laughing. <laughs> sir. sir, do you know what the problem is? The British invaded us, and they didn't listen to us. They thought we were stupid. They were crashed down. All right. The Russians invaded us. Oh, they so thought we were stupid, right. and they Muhammad, were crashed down. Muhammad. And now we're okay. making the same mistakes. Muhammad. We don't need a fucking history lesson, OK? You know why we don't listen to you? Why? Because every week you tell us the same damn thing. Because You're because always crying. You're always crying wolf. Of course, we're, we have the Taliban surrounding us all the time. We're in the middle of Afghanistan. We get hit every single day. You coming in and yelling, the Taliban is coming, the Taliban is coming, just added pressure, man. I don't need to learn about the fucking Battle of Normandy from you. Do that. It's cool, man. We heard you. It's okay. <sighs> Sir. Thank you. I have a little family. I really don't want to die. We know. And we I don't know. want you to die as well. That's all, sir. Thank you. We want to let you know. I've done my job. Thank you, Muhammad. Still my second favorite Muhammad. God hates dick jokes. Yeah. Think he's serious? I think he'll be serious when he's the one that's running and hiding. Yeah. No. 
I wouldn't trade this for anything. Is that right, Private? Rather hump gear or a couple of porn stars? I'd rather hump gear. Oh, shit, younger. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Worth it for the brotherhood, man. Look at us. Band of brothers. Like me and Sergeant Martin. We can just say anything to one another, and we're still tired as fuck, man. Always will be after this, right? Shit, he can call me a white trash motherfucker, and I could call him a nigger, and it doesn't even matter. Wait, what? The fuck you just say to me? You can call me what? Yo, young, you about to get your You ass whiskey tango cousin fucker, you. Chill, man. Go ahead, say that shit again, man. I'll slap your fucking nose off. Right, knock it off. You got my blessing to kick his whiskey tango ass when we get back. He's a dead man, young girl. What are they saying? Can't really make out this dialect. I think they're talking about scarves. You don't, you don't speak the goddamn dialect? All right, let's secure the far side. Sir, let us. Carter. Carter. Kirk, you go. You got it. Younger, on me. Welcome to Denny's. I'll be your server, Carter. Don't mind the goth makeup. I just hate myself. <laughs> well, okay, Rockstar, I'll have a grand slam then. <laughs> what? Carter, that was pretty okay, good, good, man. Okay, good to go! No? Captain Yeskis, this bridge is for shit, sir. <laughs> Embrace the suck, younger. Yes. Yes, sir. I got a question. Your old man in the military? Yes, sir. West Point, class of 84. Really? Yeah. You know a guy named, uh, Nick Coddington? Yeah, I think he did, actually. He's a fucking prick. <laughs> you like football, sir? I do like football, yeah. Are you a uh, Nebraska fan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're going to get it. Oh, 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 Sergeant. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was there. I just blew him up, man. I think I had like a piece of his brain in my mouth. Yeah. Yeah, I know, man. That was, uh, that was bad. I'm a bad soldier, Sergeant. You know, my dad was right. I don't think I can. No, no, no. no, no. You're a good soldier. Well, You're a good soldier, don't younger. Don't, don't bullshit me, man. I'm not bullshitting you. I feel so fucked up, Sergeant, man. So I feel so fucked up. I know. I know what you're going through, okay? The same thing happened to me in Iraq. I watched my best friend die. A fucking sniper. But younger. Younger, you listen to me. I got a wife and kids to come home to. And I made them promises. So I need you to make a choice. You gotta get your shit together, or we're gonna get you out of here. Sergeant. I'm fucking... I'm fucking trying, man. I just... Listen to me. Feel... Sergeant. Get him to the aid station. We're gonna medevac him out. All right, guys, let's 
Goes pretty beat up. We got double strand, concertina wire, and trip flares around the entire perimeter. We're thinking about making a triple strand, sir. And given all the attacks here, sir, I really think we should change out our claymore lines. As I understand it, they've been out there for over a year and are probably. We'll get into all that later. How many A and A here? Uh, Eighty on the payroll. When they all show up, which is never, we get twenty at a time at best. Sort of what I thought. Mr. Talk. It is, sir. New orders have come down. We're closing this outpost come July. July, sir. July 6th. That's why I want you to concentrate all your efforts. Closing shop. Yes, sir. Good night, gentlemen. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. July, huh? Good night. It's an Afghan voter ID card, sir. It was at the bridge where Captain Yeskis was tar targeted. It most likely fell out of the prick's pocket that killed our captain. Tell him, Malik. I'm afraid it's true, sir. I uh, remember this man. He was one of the workers at the hydroelectric plant. Somebody who we were employing. We're not sure which village he's in. But I can saddle up the men. Find him. Absolutely not. The squadron has appointed an investigating officer. We will wait on him to get here. Sir, by the time he gets here, that suspect will be gone. I am not going to have you guys antagonize the population by rousing families in the villages. Colonel Spizer would have my ass. With all due respect, Captain Broward, I think the Colonel would appreciate it if... What the Colonel would appreciate is we do our jobs and properly. Especially since we out of here come July. The man killed our commander. I know. Justice will be served, Sergeant. Let's get this to the proper authorities. Sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> Private. Sir? Let's get this to the burn pit. Yes, sir. Oh, damn. Thank you, sir. Go. Have fun dreams. Take that Thank you, sir. I don't want anybody getting malaria, uh, spitting blood and shit. Hey, Scusa. I finished. I finished my application. Application for what? This guy wants what? to be an officer. Okay. No, no, I want to go to flight school. Flight school, Scusa. Shit, I wouldn't let you hand out peanuts on Afghan air, my friend. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Kirk. That's really nice of you. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye, hey. ladies. You're going to be a good pilot and a good officer. Thanks, Sergeant. But I ain't calling you sir, ever. Hey, it's all good, Sergeant. You can call me whatever you want. I'll think of something. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Really? An officer and a pilot? Yeah. Oh, good luck with those goggles. What's up, guys? Morning, Sergeant. Morning, Sergeant. How you hanging? Not too bad. Shoes just stole my fucking cheese tortellini, and now I got Asian beef strips. Hey, my one-year-old loves them. Can I see those? I'll show you what you do with these Asian beef dicks. <laughs> I'm here. Come here, Franklin. Come on. Come here, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> you see? Ah! Even the dogs won't eat their shit. Ah! Don't abuse my dog, ah! Sergeant. Shit! Shit! Recall, Sergeant! Scusa! Yes. Tree farm! Yes, Sergeant! Six, red, two. Taking sniper fire at LS2. Over. We have movement at the treetop. Requesting fire mission PRP Bravo 5. This is 6. Can you positively identify a target? We have movement at the tree farm. Our borders are laid on, sir. Do you have PID? 
Captain Broward, our mortars are laid on. We have dudes where we're getting sniped from. It's fucking obvious where we're being shot from. Over. Do you have PID? Do you see a weapon? Hey, PID. Scusa! Yeah! We have PID. Uh, I, I see... I see movement! Great. We have PID, sir. Clear to engage. Fuck you. Three, four! One round! Robinson. Pack of smoke says you miss! Now you know all of a smoke! Hang it! Rules of engagement are different here. You cannot shoot someone for acting suspicious. Suspicious? So where were the bullets coming from, sir? You must PID a weapon or a radio in the enemy's hand. That comes straight from a crystal. You want your next tour to be in Leavenworth? Well, someone should tell McChrystal that we're not out here selling popsicles, sir. Excessive force alienates the locals and causes greater risk. You better grasp that fucking sentiment now. Furthermore, who knows when we'll be resupplied? And we can't waste ammo. And one more thing, Sergeant. You ever speak to me like that again, I'll send you to squadron. You want to be a staff bitch and leave your men? No, sir. President Karzai doesn't want American forces to leave before the Afghan election. General McChrystal agrees. You need to let the men know. So we're not closing the outpost in July? It's correct. Got it. I'm sorry. Maybe October. The good news is, you all receive extra thousand dollars a month. That's all. Thanks, bud. Yeah, let's go. Afternoon, sir. Sir? Let's get these to the burn pit. Where do you want these? Sit them right there on the desk. <sighs> let's get them to the burn pit. You got it, sir. Fucking Got another picture from home, I see. Yeah, she got these. You are a man obsessed, I swear. Mm, who wouldn't be? You are a lucky guy, but Pretty I don't know true. if it's healthy to uh, dwell on her out here, at least on guard and all, you know? Yeah, I know. I just keep thinking about where the big one's gonna come from. Hey, fuck it. If they come, they come. This is our reality now. I know, I know. Okay? Focus. Only thing that keeps running through my head is how ungrateful I was when I was at home. Look, man, <laughs> we're gonna get out of here and see our friends, our families, our loved ones, Sophie. We're gonna have a chance to make things right. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. That's where I need you at right now. Okay, okay. Hey, you know what we're gonna do when I get back home? Tell me. I'm gonna take her in a room. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna hug her. Mm hmm. Gonna hold her. Mm hmm. Gonna let her kiss me all over. Yeah. Never gonna let her go. That's one lucky girl. Mm hmm. Belly rubs for days. Yeah. Carter. Can I speak to one of the commanders open door policy? Yeah, man, what's going on? Everyone's worried about the new CO. Okay, how so? He doesn't know what he's doing. He's scared, it's obvious. He doesn't leave the talk except to take a shit. Even then he does it with an escort. I carry his piss every other day to the burn pit. The men call him Broward the Coward. Carter, take a seat. Take a seat, Carter. Come on. You ever heard of uh, Captain Bostick or Colonel Fenty? No, sir. They're two commanders who lost their lives in this shithole before getting in Yeskis. Okay. This commander is a 37-year-old captain who has seen a whole lot of death in Iraq before he got here. He's probably seen more firefights than you've seen in the movies. 
And despite all that, despite the shitty odds stacked against him, he's here anyway. People much smarter than you or I put him here, that's it. We will all do as he fucking says, Carter. Yes, sir. And Carter? I better never, ever, ever hear that fucking nickname again. From you or anybody else. Good to go? Yes, sir. Thank you. Good. I don't exactly feel like lugging my ass out there to check on you. Well, all, all good out here. Just because I'm not watching doesn't mean God isn't. You know, Jesus was a pacifist, Sergeant. I joined, volunteered for war. You understand? I think that, uh, I think that tells you where, where God and I stand. You read the Bible, Carter? Violent as hell. All well, the stories about Christians using force for good? Yeah, I've read it. Muslims think they're good, using force for good, too. Well, we can't both be right. We can both be wrong. Keep your ass away. Oh. Oh, fuck you. I see movement, but I don't see a weapon. Maybe it's a spotter? You just shit! Run! Well, that one was closer. Yeah, 150 meters. They're walking them in. And these fuckers have mortars now. Son of a bitch! Just fire. Yankee, Foxtrot, 15627. Sir, those grid coordinates are 40 miles away. Do you mean Yankee Echo? Oh, Yankee Echo! I was fucking spooked. He's calling the wrong fucking coordinates. Yeah. 15627890. Let's get some Willie Beat on their asses. Walking mortars in and at night. Which means there's night vision now, sir. Has this ever happened before? No, sir. Where they get them from? Fucking A and A? I don't know, but we'll get accountability. Captain Broward. Captain. Okay. Make sure that happens. You got it, sir. What is it, specialist? There's a situation at the A and A gate, sir. What's the situation? There's uh, elders from the village. You killed his daughter, Captain, with white phosphorus in the mortar attack last night. His daughter's dead, then you have my sincerest condolences. No if, sir. So this isn't our job. This girl's been dead for days. This is what Americans bring. This is the death you bring. Now, this is Taliban. This isn't us. American government will pay a condolence fee of 3500 once a... permission to speak. Speak, Sergeant. They killed this girl, sir. Another fucking cashing in, sir. <laughs> Understand, Sergeant. Let me handle this. Everybody knows you are leaving soon. If we do not get paid now, we will never get paid. Why do you paid? say we're leaving? We're not leaving. Why does he say we're leaving? Lord, yes, sir. He claims the dog bit him, sir. Get this man to our medic. He'll take care of him. It's not so simple. To be bitten by a dog is extremely shameful in our culture. They expect retribution. The one person! The one person! They want retribution, sir. This is fucking all bullshit. Money. Oh, fuck! What the fuck? It'd be great if we could all hang out just playing with dogs, wouldn't it, especially Skuza? But we're soldiers in Afghanistan. We're not in a fucking dog park. Pay this man from the commander's discretionary fund. 
47 RPI. That's just torture. Fuck that, Broward should have a go. I lasted 10 seconds. A year ago in Iraq. Who's the morale? Trying, sir. I've been relieved of duty, gentlemen. Burr's gonna get me out of here in a day or two. Captain Stoney Portis is going to take over in a couple weeks, and the sorties to close down combat outpost key on October 6th. You're in charge until then, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. <coughs> Gentlemen. Sir. Sir. Stoney Portis is a badass, man. Dude's legit. Didn't you fuckers hear him? What? You're going home. Just when I was starting to have some fucking fun, right? I mean, we've heard this shit before, right? Yeah, but so I wouldn't have scheduled the birds, man, if, if it wasn't happening for real. He's right. That's a good point. Yeah. Taliban cannot fucking find out about this. All right? None of this gets talked about in Skype, radio, emails, nothing. Check? Check. 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 You ain't getting the drop on us, LT. Because, guys, our mission from now on is what it's always been. Yeah. To survive. Hey, hey, can you hear me? You think I don't like being being there with him? He's growing up without me. Just, you know, this is how it goes. Remember, it's all good. You know I love you. If it's getting that bad for you, I'll get out, okay? I'll finish this deployment and, and we'll start a family. All right, I gotta go now, baby. I love you. All right, uh, you keep me in your prayers, okay? And tell Dad stop being a wise ass. Okay, God bless, Mom. Love to you and Dad, all right? I poured the whole thing on his head. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I know. It was fine. He didn't really. All right, I, I, I gotta go, Mom. Yep, I love you, too. Brittany, is that my son? Put him on the phone. I see you. Hey, man. I'm just working on my fucking tan. I'm not fucking cussing. I love you, Blue Eyes. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, in enough. Love you, Gam Gam. Trust me, babe, I quit. I wouldn't touch those things. Uh, me too. Me too. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I put that fish right back again. I have to go, sweetheart. And you have to get to bed. Oh, fuck it. OK, on, on the news, you, when you watch the news on TV, you see bad guys doing bad things to good people like you and Mommy. It's my job to take care of the bad guys, to find them and to kill them, sweetie. This whole bitch like a half hour ago. Uh, fresh batteries. Everyone's fucking good, man. Get some rack, man. Rack out. Nice. Relief, buddy. Just as soon as I am, all right. Morning, Sergeant. Hey, Sergeant. Yeah. If you had to fuck one guy, gun in your head, who would it be? No gun necessary. Mm. Chuck Norris. Oh. I always thought a beard would feel nice. Yeah. Seems excessive. The villagers are all gone. The Taliban's are here. The villagers are all gone. The Taliban's are here. 
Hundreds are coming on us! Hundreds are coming on us! That's what she said. Seriously. We fucking said that before last week, twice. I know. needs a new catchphrase. Bro, that incoming or outgoing? Outgoing? Nope, incoming. Hey, get up! Hi, right, boys. We got contact. Everybody, get up now! Fucking it, sir. Heavy contact. From where? Uh, switchbacks, nose brakes. They're fucking everywhere. Why aren't our fucking mortars up, Long? Why aren't our fucking mortars up? Get them up now. Thompson, go to work. Thompson, on it. RPG, rock. Yes, heavy fire. Okay. RPG, rock. RPG, rock. Switch back, switch back. Sending your ass to the sure buildings. We fucked up there. Why are you sending me, bro? This is the big one. Saddle up! Come on, boy! Easy there, mate. It's gonna be a long fucking day. Look at these Afghan cowards! You gotta get to Larson. You gotta get to El Res, too, man. Alright, on me. Let's do it. Fuck! Friendly! Friendly! I'm coming, Thompson. Fuck! We're gonna need some more fucking ammo. Let's go, bastard. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Damn! Let's go, fucking move! Cops! Oh, keep lighting us that hill. You got a Kevlar blanket, you're good to go. We'll keep ammo coming your way. Big sergeant! I got it! Oh, 
Can't land here, your boys. Help us drive back to Taliban. Uh, we're out of ammunition. We need air support. Just get together and get your men to fucking fight. We gotta free up our mortars, or none of us are getting out of your fucking lot. Sir, Kirk's hit. They need a medic. Fuck! Come on! <laughs> Kirk is down in the Shura building. Keep your head dry. Fuck you, bro. I'm going for Kirk. You take your gun. Jesus. Jesus. Fuck you. Take your shit. fucking rifle. Fuck. Treat him here. We gotta get him back to Cordova. Okay. Good. Hold on. Lock. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. You're gonna be all right. All right. Grab his head. Ready. I'm ready. ready. Lift on three, two, lift. In. You got it. Lift on one, two, three, lift. Go. Go. All right. Hold on. Hey, boy. Christian, let go. Yeah. You got him. Got him. Hey, don't worry. Come on, goddammit. it. I forgot you. Come on. You're gonna be out of there. Oh, oh, fuck. 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 Oh, what? Hey, hey, shut the your the fucking fight. mouth. Yeah. We need to figure out who needs what. Everyone is fucking everything. Griffin, Shura building, check. Shura check. Uh, El Raz one, check. Scusa, come on. Francis Gallegos at El Raz two. Okay? It's all good, Sergeant. All right. All right, go. Yes, Sergeant. Oh, Sergeant! I'm not sure. I think I hit the neck. I don't know. How's Kirk doing? I got a pulse, sir, but it's weak. It's really weak. Be calm. What do you got, man? He's gone. What? No. He's I gone. Put him in my room. He's I gone. sent him out there, man. Dude, get out of here. You're in the way. Yeah. Holy shit, is that Kirk? Right, Fuck this hell, us. man. We got help Gallegos. Generator. Understood, sir. Sir, SOG. Sir, the passage of wheel is up in 40 minutes. If we don't get these guys in, we're not gonna be here in 40 fucking minutes.
fucking door, man. Get it open. Get the fuck in here, bro. 240 is fucking down, bro. Get the fuck in here. Get the fuck out. Close the, door. Close the door! Close the door! What else you got? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Let him in, Carter. Oh, shit. Who's oh, that? Oh, shit! I need an ammo in here! Come on, get in! Get in! Get in! Oh, get in! 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 Get Hey, holding up over there. Bro, I don't know, man. We got a shitload of gunfire from a fucking south, man. Well, other than that, you're fine, right? Yeah, I guess. Look, I got a machine gun set up. You think you guys can make it back to the barracks? I don't know if you can lay down enough fucking fire, but go for it. Over. All right. You ready? Gregor, you ready? Good to go. Good. Stay here, they're all over us. Thanks for trying, Ro. We'll just chill here for a while. Hey, Ro, keep everyone the fuck away from here. Fuck! Gregory? Yeah? Jeff? You all right? Yeah? <laughs> the only way we're getting those guys out there. Hey, Ro! We're gonna lose another Ro. Hear me out here, man. What? El Ras 2 is stranded, okay? They are inoperable. I'm taking truck one. I'm going with Fox there. I'm going to get those yo, guys yo, yo, out of there. Listen, well, we're going to get this arm checked <laughs> out. I'm fine, I'm fine. I just came from there. It's a clusterfuck. Well, you want to bleed out? Yo, listen, listen Gallegos is telling out. everybody to stay back for a fucking reason. Fuck that, man. Dead bodies attract more dead bodies. We have two KIA <laughs> already, OK? Hey, we got Kirk I in the fucking aid station, man. <clears throat> Kirk's in the fucking aid station. Kirk? Yeah, fucking Kirk, Sergeant. <laughs> OK. OK. Check this. You do this. You do it smart, okay? Fine. You use that maintenance shed for cover. You don't go up the middle. No. That's too far out of the way, man. <laughs> don't rush for failure. <laughs> Fine, okay, come on. Let's go, Griffin. Don't worry about that. Just set it, set it, splint it, and move on, okay? everything, man. Six, this is El Raz 1. I got a fucking sniper over here. I need your sniper rifle. these dudes. Gotcha. Smoke them for three. One more thousand. Two more thousand. Three. Eat shit, motherfucker!
Get those guys the fuck out of there. Guys, you're fucking at we are. Griff, get up in the turret. Close that fucking door. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Ammo. Gallego. This is hard. We're driving to you now. Stay put. We're gonna get you out of there. Do not drive that fucking truck over here, Hart. Boy, do you hear me? Keep fucking pushing. I'm sorry we couldn't help. Fuck, I'm sorry. Fuck you. I fucking told you, man. Will you please get the fuck out of here, man? Hang in there. Sergeant, those ANA don't look right. I think we got people in the fucking wire, man. Jesus. Oh, fuck, hell of a man. This fucking hell of a man fucking kill those fuckers. All right, all right, all right. Look at me. This is what we're gonna do. You two are gonna make a run for it. You're gonna run like fucking hell. I'm gonna get in this turret. I'm gonna fucking fire you. Yes, okay? Yes, Sergeant! See you soon, guys. Go! Go! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck! Captain Portis, we're gonna hang on to what we can. But it'd be really fucking nice to see you, sir. Over. Guide on, guide on, guide on. Alamo, 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 collapse to the core. Fuck that. We need to retake this camp. We don't have any mortars. Air support, the manpower. We don't have any accountability. LT's right, bro. We need to dig in, hold on to what we can, and wait Stop. for support. Helicopters alone won't save us. Our ammo depot is 40 yards away. It has everything we need to stay in this fight. We start there and we plug our leaks. Take back our front gate, or the enemy is just walking the fuck in. And you get a machine gun on that dining hall. Everybody good! Everybody good! Everybody good! Are the radios up? LT, are the radios up? LT. Our men are trapped out there. Let me do this. Sir. You sure you can make it happen? Yes. All right, if we're gonna do this, we gotta call a net switch. We got an enemy in the wire. They probably got one of our radios. The men out there that are trapped, they're gonna be cut off, but we gotta do it. All right? Check? Check. Bro. Wait for Hill's machine gun, all right? Check. X-ray, X-ray, do you copy? Ah. Motherfucking cops! What? Take comes, boys. What's the plan, G? What's the plan? What are we doing, what are we doing okay, Sergeant? Okay, here's what we do. We take cover at the rock, we go to the trains, we'll pass the trains, pass the laundry trailers, and then we haul ass to the tank. 
I'll hang back and provide cover. It's like a lot of fucking time. I'll cover Deal? with you. Everybody in? It's not up to us, man. You're senior. It's on you. It's your decision. No. Mace, keep the fuck up. Martin, you're gonna right, be okay. Right. Let's do it. Come on, Vince Tech. Come Carter, on, it's on us. Is everybody We're going first. In. We're, We're going off, first, Carter. Right? Lesson, I love you, Carter. You're out Let's first. go. Let's 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 go. let us go let Volunteers. We're taking this bitch back. Hell yeah, bro. Let's yeah. go. Come in. Glass, got you got me. Good. Gregory? I don't think I can make it, bro. I got his gun. Jones, good man. Miller, Donnelly, let's go. X-ray. Where the fuck's that machine gun? The machine gun is on its way. Hang on. X-ray, we gotta move. We gotta get to the front gate now. They're right on top of us. Negative, Red 2. Hold your position. Wait for cover fire. Sorry, what was that? You're coming in broken. God damn it, bro. No. Ah, fuck. All right, guys, let's go. Never killed him before. Me too. You got any smokes in that? What? A pack of cigarettes. Wouldn't you be lucky? Get behind that fucking rock and take cover. Mace! Behind the rock! Back. Get cover behind the rock! We'll come after you in a second! Fuck! Fuck! He's okay, man. He has cover. He's fucking leaning. He's fucking leaning. Carter, he has cover. Carter, what are you doing? Take cover. I'm going out. Carter, what the go. fuck are you doing? Carter! What are you fucking doing, what man? What the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck am I doing? He's blending out! Dude! He has fucking cover there. Uh, we have cover here. There are only two of us. You want to fucking die Mace, trying to save him? Wait! Mace! Wait! Jones, Daniel. Lock his ammo. Rat. We take back this outpost. A lot the pressure, bro. This net and he stationed this net to the Red Dragon over. I got half a minute left. You? Take some mine. Fuck. And he stationed this net and he stationed this net. This is Red Dragon over. You think there's any one of us alive? Think we're it? Huh? 
Oh man, they're not fucking. Dead. I can get to him. Lars said I can fucking get to him. He's right fucking Dead there. bodies attract dead bodies. All right? I want you to try and win a fucking medal. Hey, Mace! Stay right there! Don't fucking move! We're coming as soon as we can! Fuck. Fuck. Sergeant. 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 Carter. Sergeant. Please. God. Stop talking. Stop. What are you going to do when you get to him? I'm going to render him fucking aid, man. Where are you going to take him? His best chance is in here with us. I agree. Agreed? I agree. So... I'll cover you, okay? Thank you. All right? Thank you. Take a fucking breath. All right? Conserve your fucking ammo. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Just as soon as I can find him. Ah, hang with me. Watch a fucking little Hang with me. Ah, this is nothing, man. Where's your nut, motherfucker? I know. I know, baby. Here we go. Come on, you a man or not? You got it. Here you go. Here you go, brother. I know. I think Sergeant Gallegos is dead. Hey, but you're not gonna die, okay? You stay with me, okay? Don't fucking die, Carter. No, no, you're not. No, you're not, fucker. You're dying of cancer, remember? You're dying of fucking cancer. Hey, come on. Put your arms around me. Put Give me a fucker, sir. Put your arms around me. Just like we did. Are okay? Hey. <laughs> No one's getting in here. Yeah. 
go. Mace. No, fucking what? Gun to your head. Oh, my head. Gun to your head. A guy you gotta fuck. Who is it? Gun to your head. Oh, fuck. Which guy? Fucking, uh... Red Dragon, go ahead. What's going on? Hey, we're still trapped in El Raz 2. Gallegos is KIA and Martin's missing. Carter and I are okay. okay. Mace is pretty jacked up. He's hurt surgical. Head. He's going to need to get to the aid station as soon as possible. We need some serious covering fire. Over. It's glad to hear you boys are still breathing. I'm going to wrangle you some cover. We got a B-1 bomber coming in for Qatar. When it drops its payload, it's going to be a son of a bitch. When it hits, I need every weapon we have on camp. All right, Stu, that ought to be enough cover for you guys to make a run for it. Over. This is Red Dragon. We'll come. Bombs away. All nets acknowledged. 30 seconds. Up the fuck is Stay put. Seven one. This is X-ray. Emergency mission on my graphics. Over. Drop everything you can on the switchbacks. X-ray. I copy. Get your boys down. We're gonna get close. Carter. Five, Good luck, four, man. Three, Mace, stay with us. Two. One. We're gonna be all right. Go, go, let's go. Turn the fuck on, Mace. We're all in fucking ass. The guy goes, okay. Okay. You know where they are? Yes. Got a thing in the crowd at Artie. He's probably sending all his blood to his vital organs. Oh, that's good. Oh, hey, come over. That's good. No, right? it's cool. not. His blood pressure's too weak. If he doesn't get out of this valley in the next hour, he won't make it. There's no birds getting in hits after nightfall. It's time to get radical. As you can hear, air support is out there doing the Lord's fucking work. Break. Captain Porter's in the quick reaction force on the way. We're almost done, guys. Jesus Christ. X-ray this Black Knight 6 with the QRF. Got eyes on the cop. Over. Roger that, sir. We'll see you soon. Point one eight, you have eyes on my position. I think I see the last of them. 
500 meters north, 50 degrees. Let's end this thing. Roger that. Positive. I'm in positive. I'm in positive. Hey, hey, Doc, what does that mean? What's going on? We can't perform surgery on him here. Then what the fuck does that mean? Medivac won't be here for a few hours, which means he needs fresh blood if he wants to live. Right. This is the only thing we can do. We're not sterile and we can't test for disease. Okay. But fresh blood is all we can do to save him. Come on. Hey, Mace. Mace, come on. You'll be good, buddy. Me. You might be able to lighten the love for his fucking officer blood. But... All right, I need you to put a call in on the radio. Everybody with A-positive blood needs to get their ass to the A station, okay? We need as much fucking blood as we can get. Fuck, <laughs> Mohammed. Get out of here, fuck. I told you the Taliban would attack. I know my country. All right, all right, go, go, go. Heard on the radio, you guys need blood. Yeah, yeah. The second bag. You ain't positive? We ain't fucking positive. All right, give me this. All right. You all right, Mace? Stay with me, buddy. You all right, Mace? We're gonna get you medevac soon, Mace. How's he doing? Yeah. We fucking won, man. We fucking won. I'm gonna get you back home to Amanda Mac, man. Come on. You're good. Come on, motherfucker. Let's go. Come on, you got him? You got him? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You're good, man. Captain Portis. Welcome to Outpost Keating, sir. All your men accounted for, Lieutenant? 27 wounded, 7 dead. A dozen ANA severely wounded. Specialist Mace is pretty banged up. The medics are, uh, they're optimistic, sir. He's got all of our blood in him. I'm sorry, sir. I know now's not the time. It is the time. Lieutenant, you did a hell of a job here. You took fucking command. What do you want to salvage, sir? <clears throat> Nothing. Tomorrow, we blow this shithole off the face of the earth. Yes, sir. Sergeant? Yeah, okay. As we sink immortal sand on the road to the edge of man, then who will be the last to die? Fucking weird. 
isn't it? I kind of wish we were given the same consideration. Yeah. I'm happy you came to talk. Uh, Sergeant Hill said I had to. Well, you don't have to. Only if you want to. He said I needed to. Mm. Oh, very pretty. Thank you. So, can you tell me what happened? What, when? During the battle. What, what about it? Do you remember what happened with you in the battle? Mm-hmm. What well, didn't save? Didn't save him? Who? Mace. Mace. He was your friend. I 
something scary, but I promise it will help to talk about it. I'm sorry. It's okay. Can you breathe for me? In and out. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. Everybody dies It's the truth that makes us one It's the center of our sun As we take the lonely path On the road to the edge of man Beneath the darkening sky We curse and wonder why as fear wakes up the beast And the devil comes to feast And we sink in mortal sand On the road to the edge of man Who will be the last to die In a land where There's only God and pain There's nothing more brave Than those voices from the grave Only they can tell us why Only they will never lie About the reason that we stand On the road to the edge of man He was on his, he was on his forearms and his elbows, and he, he went behind. He went towards, towards Gallegos. And that's when I said, hey, Sergeant Larson, Mace is alive. I can get to him, he's right there. And uh, I think he looked and he says, no, you can't get to him. I says, no, he's right there, I can get to him. He says, you're no good to him, dead. And, uh, and I, knew, I knew he was right, but it, it, it ate me up so bad. I need a break, hold on. Yeah. Take as much time as you need. Finished up development, scurried on back, and I called Gallegos and 
told him. Told him I'm sorry. I Clint, you're one guy with no ammunition facing 400 Taliban, all of whom have the high ground. You could always try, though. <laughs> we landed uh, uh, at nighttime, uh, but even at night, you could tell the silhouettes of the mountain and the sky were uh, uh, did not give us it did not give you a, a very good sense of this is a safe place. It gave me a quick sense of impending doom. Uh, that there's just a matter of time before a bad thing happens, and, and we're gonna it, it, we'll be in trouble. I remember when I first landed at, at, at Keating, um, I got off the helicopter, and when you got off the helicopter, you're supposed to take a knee because the, the propeller blades create such a prop blast that it like pushes you over. But I was just like staring with like my mouth open, looking at the uh, at all the like the mountains and just being in the valley. It was so strange. I remember being down in the middle of it and just looking up and up and up, and finally I could see like <laughs> the top of of the. Uh, uh, the switchbacks, uh, and it was just like that all the way around. Being able to play myself is is unique. You know, it's a very, I don't know if it happens very often in this industry, but as we were saying, just the realness of here, it's put me back into that mindset, and I've tried to embrace that, you know, with the uniform and, you know, the, the names of all those soldiers that were lost that are still walking around here, you know, doing their role. Um, I think it's special, you know, and, and to be able to play myself, I'm very grateful that I'm still alive and it's almost an obligation, I feel, to, to bring authenticity to this film. At, uh, at El Rez 2, um, five men gave their lives to save mine. They were either directly at that position or supporting it. And so when I wear the medal, I think about them. I also wear the, the memorial bracelet and, uh, in fact, uh, most people think of, uh, Memorial Day as, uh, a time to celebrate or, or have hot dogs, but it's actually a very somber time to where we recognize what a lot of men and women have died for. When I came in with the QRF down the switchbacks, it was nighttime, and you could see the flames against the canyon walls, um, and and the the flicker of the flames kind of dancing on the canyon walls behind it, and and the buildings over the course of that night started, they were, they were raised. I mean, they started falling to the ground. Yeah. Um, and I remember as I, as I walked the outpost when the, when the battle was over and the, the buildings were literally falling to the ground, I would see um, black spots on the ground that were dark as motor oil. And then the, the flame, the light of the flames from the buildings would kind of illuminate it just enough for me to see that it was uh, a very deep color of red and that's when i realized oh this is where this is where one of our soldiers died it's, it's a very hard terrain um out in nuristan it, it's, it's it's incredibly difficult to uh to win a battle when you're in the low ground like that it, it's it's near impossible i mean the only reason it was possible for these guys was because of some very strong leadership uh, at the camp itself and because they had an immense amount of air support um, it, once it finally came in. I want people to know about uh, Stefan Mace. I want you know more people to know about Justin Gallegos uh, and the six others who died that day. Uh, Vernon Martin, uh, I knew him for, for about three or four years. Scoos, I knew him for about three or four years from our deployment to Iraq together. And so, I mean, these, they were incredible people, incredible humans. Uh, you know, it's, that's, I think it's important uh, for more people to know uh, about these eight that sacrificed themselves and hopefully spark an interest in learning more about uh, others uh, that have sacrificed themselves for the greater good of, of the United States security. In my own words, I would describe Combat Outpost Keating as, uh, I don't know, I read somewhere in the, in the Bible, the, uh, the, the gates of heaven and the gates of hell are in the same spot. So at the time of the firefight, this was the, uh, the gates of hell, but watching men, you know, sacrifice themselves to protect each other, you can see the true form of what uh, brotherhood and love is, and so therefore it'd be the gates of heaven as well.
That's the best way I can describe it.